real important that Andre say spoke This to bout this is presented by Celsius Live Fit Essential Energy. Draft Kings, the crown is yours. And Universal Pictures Night Swim, only in theaters January 5th. We are sanctioned by the Florida Athletic Commission with Executive Director Tim Shipman. The judges assigned to score this featured bout from ringside, Tina Griffith, Alexander Levin, and Frank Flutie. Your referee in charge of the action at the bell will be Christopher Young. This bout is brought to you by Most Valuable Promotions in association with Box Lab Promotions. From the Sold Out Carib Royale Orlando, ladies and gentlemen watching worldwide, it's time to get down on the zone. We are set for the main event, scheduled for eight rounds in the cruiserweight division. Introducing first, the man standing to my left and fighting out of the red corner. He enters tonight wearing orange trimmed in blue. He weighed in at 198 and one half pounds. His professional record, 10 victories, opposite a single defeat with one draw and five wins via knockout. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Andre August. His opponent awaits across the ring to my right and fights out of the blue corner. He steps between the ropes tonight wearing black and white. His official weight, 199 and one half pounds. His professional record, seven victories, opposite a single defeat with four wins via knockout. Welcome the 2021 Sports Illustrated Breakout Boxer of the Year, the serial risk taker, globally renowned content creator and international superstar, fighting out of Toronto, Puerto Rico, by way of Cleveland, Ohio, the problem child, Jay. Okay, champions, listen, everything I can show legal up here, this is fine right here too. Shouldn't let me know what time it is. Fight hard, fight clean, touch him up. Jake Paul said before he lost to Tommy Fury, he was taking boxing too casual. He says, now I'm hardcore. All day, every day, this is my life. I live it, I breathe it, and you'll see tonight. I've been working on everything. My skills will be showcased, and I will knock out Andre August. Get August. Top of the apple cart, pull off one of the biggest upsets of the year. Here we go, live from Orlando, Florida. That's something Jake talked about a lot in this, uh, the fighter week was his footwork. It's something that he worked on in this camp, really dedicated to it. Also told us that he's going to work on his punch volume, upping it. He was able to throw 50 punches around in his last fight versus Nate Diaz. That's right around the cruiserweight average. You know, when you look at a punch on average, when you start with Jazz and you Jazz, you get that four to five punches per combination each time. He's always had good footwork. He usually uses it to circle out, and now he's bouncing in and bouncing out and trying to make Andre reach out on the back shot and get caught with a right hand. We know August loves to go to the body. He's a self-proclaimed body puncher. Tyron, is that the uh, key to the combination for Jake Paul, go to I the mean, body? Jake, Jake moves too much to go to the body, to be honest. Jake doesn't like body shots, but it's hard to get one off on him because he does have good footwork. Ooh, it's Jake Paul that's going to the body here in round one. Yeah, nice right shot to the rib cage for Paul, who's as loose as you could possibly it, be before a fight. And I would say August is the opposite. He looks a little tense, he looks a little tight. He does look um, a little looks tight. like the lights may have gotten to him, so he needs to find a way to shake it out. Um, 
and make it through this round and take a deep breath and sit on the stool. You know, I was wondering all week, how will Andre August come out? Couldn't get a read on the Whoa. guy. He lands it right there. But Jake got a body shot. They both landed hard. Jake's doing a nice high-low variety coming overhand. He's really mixing up the combinations of punches. Andre's almost being a heavy bag. He's been a steel target right now. Um, you don't want to let him get the momentum. You don't want him to keep getting off. There's that double jab from Paul that he's been working on. You know, in his last fight, August was able to cut the distance and get inside on a taller opponent in Brandon Martin. Not the case in early on in this round. He's pretty far apart from Paul, not inside at all. Jake Paul coming off that win over Nate Diaz. It went the distance. Jake promising that this one will not. Andre needs to be careful by ducking down. Oh! oh! This is over. He ain't getting up. He ain't getting up. Wow. Wow. The problem child strikes the game. One punch was all it took from Jake Paul. He told us all week long, I am feeling KO1. And he came out and he did it. A millisecond before I said Andre needs to watch Duck in his head because Jake Paul is setting up an upper before I get the word cut out, it lands and he crushes him. And, and guys, when I walked into Andre's locker room before this fight, he looked terrified. In fact, he said, I don't want to speak. I told you guys when I came back, I didn't have time to say it, but that man was done. He was a dead man walking. Jake capitalized and got the KO. Jake Paul predicted a first round knockout and he delivered. And if he bet on himself, the odds were plus 2,200. I mean, before the KO even happened, he was putting on a national performance. Double jab, triple jab, high, low, uppercut, hook, overhand. It's the Ooh, uppercut right that gets there. it done. His eyes roll to the back of his head. It all started with the jab, right? He said he wanted to work on the jab. He set up that shot with a, with a double jab. Lights out. I mean, he's, he's the guy that has long arms and a long reach, but he also has a muscle mass. So when you set up a jab that way, it sets you up for many different combinations of power punches. And then he waves goodbye to Andre as he is in La La Land. The irony, guys, is that Jake said he wanted to get some work in. <laughs> I mean, he got two minutes and 45 seconds or something like that. Well, I said Jake Paul was already celebrating the win backstage before he came down. His brother had him up on his shoulders. It was almost like the coronation started before the fight. Todd, the juxtaposition of the two locker rooms was astounding. Jake's team were dancing, singing. It was a funeral home in Andre August's locker room. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen. And look, that spoke volumes. Look what the thing we just that's saw. lost in combat sport is individuality. Everybody doesn't have to get prepared for a fight the same way. If he needs to be loose and celebrate and have fun and dance, let him do what he needs to do so he can go out there and feel comfortable and do what he just did. Finish with a KO. Jake Paul walked to the ring with Christmas music behind him, and what a present he gave his fans, Dan. Lights out. That was impressive. Listen, he went in there with a guy with a lot more experience than him. He said he wanted rounds, but he's only going to get that win in any, any way possible. And he did it. I'm impressed. I mean, at some point, people are going to have to start putting respect on his name. You look at him and you say, okay, he's not a real fighter. And the hits just keep on coming. Tomorrow night, it's Sunny and Bam. And then next Saturday, live from Saudi Arabia. Two main events in one. Joshua versus Vaughn. Wilder versus Parker. And any one of these heavyweights, Tyron, would be happy with a KO like the one we just saw. 100%. That's what it's all about. You do all the work. You put yourself through hell. But when you go out there, you want it to be as easy as possible. Let's get the official decision now as Jake Paul gets his eighth professional win. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at 2 minutes 32 seconds of the opening round. Your winner by knockout, the problem child, Jay.